Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMindBlocks. So this is video 2.5 in our series. Um, it's 2.5 because it's a follow-up video from yesterday's um, plotting video. So in that video I showed you how to write new POC2 plots and also convert from POC1 to POC2. Um, but a lot of people are asking me um, which process was best, which one was actually fastest in terms of writing. Is it best for a person to rewrite all new plots or is it a faster option um, converting from POC1 to POC2? So in this video series what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a whole bunch of tests and then what I'll do is at the end of this video, it's only going to be a short video, I'm just going to present those on like a, uh, a bar chart and show you which one was the fastest performance. So I'm going to do some tests here, try and keep the tests um, in line with each other, use the same amount of um, plotting capacity, um, do a few different tests on a different, whether we're using a, a CPU or a GPU, um, conversion from plot to one to plot two, either inline testing or also to a secondary location. So I'm just going to do a couple of different experiments and see which gets the, the best report, uh, performance for you guys. So you should see that after this section and hopefully you can use this information to um, get the best results from your plotting efforts. Okay, so I've spent quite a bit of time this morning testing the various configurations of plotting and conversion. And now I've got the results here to share with you. So I've just kind of put all the data in an Excel file and I've got the data to the left and I've got a little chart on the right hand side. So uh, what I'm going to do is just going to go through and explain um, these results and hopefully you can interpret it and decide what is the best um, for you. First of all, I started by testing just creating new POC2 plots. So I started with my um, i5 CPU, so it's a i5 6600K at 4.4 gigahertz. And I created a five gigabyte plot and using eight gigabytes of RAM. So writing to my SSD, I got a total time of one minute and 46. So that's kind of our basic benchmark. I also repeated the same test, but with a slightly um, less RAM amount. So I also tested it using four gigabytes of RAM and it was only a second difference. So really, we're using um, a larger amount of RAM or less RAM. If you're writing with your CPU, um, it doesn't make a very much uh, difference. Going on on testing, I repeated the same test with eight gigabytes of RAM using the CPU and writing to my mechanical hard disk drive. Um, so this is where you can kind of see the performance starts changing. So two minutes and 18 there. And continuing on, same test again with my uh, the POC2 um, turbo plotter. But this time I was using my GPU rather than the CPU. So you can see uh, a vast improvement on time. 41 seconds writing to the SSD and one minute and 17 seconds when writing to the mechanical hard drive. So of all of these um, tests, uh, using my graphics cards to write to an SSD was the fastest. And following up from that, writing um, to a mechanical hard drive using a GPU as well was um, kind of coming at second place, so 1 minute 17. In terms of conversion, like I said, there was a couple of options for converting the files. So you could convert a POC1 file into a POC2 file, and you could do that what's called inline, so overwriting the original file itself. Um, initially, I did that. And so again, it was a five gigabyte file using four gigs of RAM. On my SSD, um, I managed to get 45 uh, seconds. So just rewriting the file over itself. Also running the same test on the mechanical hard disk drive. So again, a POC1 to POC2 inline conversion. That took quite a lot of time, uh, three minutes and 49 seconds. So that's kind of one of the slowest performers. Again, repeating the conversion test, but this time it was converting from POC1 to POC2, but the, the new POC2 file was created either in the same location or on a, in a different location. So rather than overwriting the original drive, it was kind of uh, uh, creating a new file. So doing that on my SSD, um, I managed to get 36 seconds, so it looked quite promising at first. Um, I also tested the exactly the same test uh, on the SSD as well. But this time using the um, Turbo Swizzler, that was made by the same guy that made the Turbo Plotter. Um, but that plotter, uh, the conversion tool was significantly slower, so I don't recommend using the Turbo Swizzler program. I just wanted to test it. Uh, going back from to the POC1 to POC2 conversion tool, on the mechanical hard drive, it's 3 minutes and 55 seconds. So copying and writing um, back to the same drive. Again, uh, very slow. Uh, I also wanted to try... 
uh, reading from my SSD and converting it and, and replotting it on my mechanical hard drive. So I did that in this test and it come out at 2 minutes and 13 seconds. So if you take a look at the chart that I've uh, created for you guys, it kind of breaks down the numbers and a little bit easier you can see. Although the sort order is kind of reversed from, from my tables order, I don't know what it is. Uh, so I'm not a, an expert in Excel. But anyway, so at the top of the chart, you can kind of see the POC1 to POC2 new file conversions. So you can see the timings for each of those. And you can see the fastest time was on that SSD there. Um, and that's about the best you're going to get with that. Um, but the problem is that most people are not going to be writing or creating their plots on SSDs. Most people are going to be using mechanical drives. So that's why I've tested both. Um, again, the inline file conversion, um, quite slow results, particularly using the mechanical hard drive. And then further down, creating new plots. So this is kind of uh, where I think it's going to stand out for a lot of you guys. So if you've got a mechanical hard drive or an external hard drive, it looks to be that writing new plots, either using your CPU or your GPU, using a turbo plotter and writing new plots to those mechanical drives, um, uh, external drives. I think that is going to be your best uh, option. You might get a slight uh, performance increase if you are kind of conversion, if you, if you want to go down the conversion avenue, if you're converting from one drive and then writing the new plots to a second drive, so converting from one drive to another drive, that might be the sort of the second fastest way. But really from the results that I'm seeing here, it looks like just creating new plots is going to be um, the fastest option for most people. I've got a little bit more testing to do, so let me know uh, what, what results you guys are getting because obviously uh, using external drives, they're significantly slower, so it's not just about the writing speed um, of your um, CPU or GPU, it's, it's kind of the, the disk write performance as well. So that's something that needs to be considered. But it looks like it's gonna be a, a slow process. So I think I'm just gonna restart uh, plotting my drives from scratch. I don't think the conversion is really gonna save any time at all. Okay guys, so that's it for another video. Hopefully you found it useful. Uh, please let me know what results you're getting in, in the comments. I'd like to uh, read and see exactly where, what results you guys are getting. So look out for my next video, which will be all about the mining and the pool selection. So till then, see ya.